Well, we've all heard about it, uh, ransomware, where somebody uh, gets a hold of your computer and then encrypts all your files and tries to charge you a fee to get your files back. Well, in the fall of 2010 update, uh, Windows has added protection for this. So let's go over here to the settings, and we need to go to the Update and Security tab. We'll go ahead and click on that, and uh, here we go. And we'll find Windows Defender. And then you'll see at the top near here, you'll see the Security Center uh, at the top. So we're going to click on that. It's going to launch the Security Center. Now, right here under Virus and Protection right here, if we look down here, so if you click on the Virus and Threat Protection Center, you scroll down, you'll see down here, Control Folder Access. And it talks to you about it, what to do about that. You simply turn it on here with the... Uh, switch there and then come down here to where you can select which folders are done. Now there's standard ones that are already done that you cannot take off. Windows Protect System and these standard folders. So those are uh, what they are. But you can add your own folders where you have important data. And you simply click on the plus sign up here and use the browse feature of uh, your Windows Explorer to add folders. So once you do that, then you come over here and you find something. Now I'm going to go to, by the way, you can do this on network folders, which I'm doing right now, or to a local folder. You add the folder, and the folder will then appear here. Uh, so, And by the way, if you make a mistake or you want to remove a folder, you just click here and say remove. Now currently there's a bug. You'll see right here if I remove it, it's still there. And I reported this to Microsoft, but by the time the fall updates are done, I'm expecting this to be fixed. But you just add any amount of folders you want by just adding that, and then your those folders will be protected from unauthorized access. So let's say there's a program now that won't work because you've protected the folder. You can click right here where it says Allow uh, App Access. Uh, to So you go there and you click on this, and you s tells you right here why it's uh, available like this and what you need to do. So you would go over here to the add a folder, just click on the little plus sign. Now you're going to have to browse on your file system to find exactly the application you want. And normally, like you said, uh, your programs will either be in your PC, uh, in your C drive, under program files or uh, program files x86, uh, but you could have them somewhere else as well. For example, you might have your games on a certain drive. So you want to go find uh, your game files and do all that. Uh, for the most part, Microsoft will trust most things uh, that you have installed, but just in case, you have to go browse for it and uh, add it to that uh, the list of apps that are allowed. And there you have it, ransomware protection, one of the new uh, features uh, built into the new Windows 10 Fall 2017 update.